Chapter 26 Reversal The idea of Light working with the task force is insane for the story. L is wanting this to happen because he suspects Light to be Kira, but the others have no idea. They simply have taken L's word that this is only a 5% chance, so it's unlikely the man standing before them is actually Kira. Light and L are so far above everyone else that they are seemingly able to have battles right in front of the task force openly without any of them catching on to anything. This is cool to see when it happens, but it shows a huge gap in importance and authority and really just makes it hard to take anyone else seriously other than these two. Light is called in to review the footage sent in by the second Kira. L tells everyone that if Light assumes there is a second Kira out there, he will be mostly cleared of actually being the original Kira. This, again, is a huge lie from L, as regardless of Light's deduction, he would remain in suspicion. This man cannot stop lying. What L wanted was an opportunity to do what he and Light had talked about when they first spoke on the Kira case back at the coffee shop. He wanted to get him to say something that only Kira would know. Anytime L's finger touches his lip, it means that he is onto something, and when Light is reviewing the footage, L, with finger on his lip, directly asks him his thoughts on the case in a tone that Light is able to pick up on, and that is when he realizes that this whole thing is simply a test just to see how Kira would react. Before seeing L so inquisitive, Light was going to say nothing and just let the second Kidder's plan play out and to have L killed in a few days whenever he made his public appearance. L displayed a subtle emotion that only Light picked up on, and so he comes out and says that there may be another Kidder. He comes to this conclusion all on his own, as deciding that there is a second Kidder would be, in essence, going for the win, which goes back to their tennis match. But, the only way he could have come to this conclusion is if he had access to all the information collected by the MPA and had been watching every move Kira made extremely closely, or if he was Kira himself. Once again, only L picks up on this, as the rest of the task force is too busy hyping up how similar his analysis was to L's. Soichiro assumes that this has cleared Light of all suspicion based on what L had said earlier. However, no matter what Light said here, he was still always going to be a suspect. This was a lie L had created for the purpose of setting up a trap for Light in both directions. This has transformed itself into an opportunity to get the man who he believed to be Kira to write a personalized and genuine response to the second Kira, pretending to be Kira himself. The fact that Light concludes there is a second Kira is, if anything, even more revealing because it shows that he knows a lot more than he lets on. If he could make a similar deduction to L after it took L a few days of constantly scouring these tapes, while Light does it almost instantly, this is clearly suspicious to L, regardless of what he told the task force. Once again, very subtle, but he is the only one to pick up on this. Light is given the task of responding to the second Kidder as Kidder. This was L's intention all along. When Light writes his speech, he is able to do so freely. This is a message from Kidder to the second Kidder, even leaving in a part of the speech that implies killing L. Can't help but think Light was trying to slip one through there. Misa Amane is the second Kira, and there isn't much to say about her right now. She, in a way, represents the opposite of what makes Light and L's battle so back and forth. Misa sends in her response back, and it is immediately noticeable to Light that this person, whoever it is, is a liability. She mentions killing with eyes. Light is drawn with a total of three sweat marks. She mentions Shinigami. Light is drawn with a total of four sweat marks, and L falls out of his chair. Chapter 27 Love Misa Amane does not share the same plan as Light. Her main goal is to be recognized by the original Kira and get his attention. That is all she cares about, and the whole reason she is even doing any of this. Her plan to take out and kill L and bring peace around the world may share a similar ideological focal point to Light, but it is not the same as she reacts purely based on feeling and the desire to meet the original Kira, whereas Light is just completely on a different wave. 
having heard the phrase Shinigami, L falls out of his chair, screaming, showing the most amount of emotion he has the entire series. This was his brain calculating all of the events of the Kira case from the very beginning and putting it all together to confirm the existence of the Death God. The first Kira had hinted towards Shinigami, and the second Kira confirmed it, concluding that Shinigami must be a part of some sort of code as to how Kira is able to execute his power. With all of this new information splurged right in front of him, L decides that from now on he's going to let both Kidders handle everything on their own while he waits for the next move. Ever since meeting Light at the entrance exams, L has been consistently taking wins over him. Not huge case solving revolutionary wins, but still consistent wins nonetheless. Since meeting L, Light had done nothing to clear his suspicion. In fact, the suspicion only grew and was basically confirmed, from getting him to say things that only Kira would know, such as the idea of the second Kira, all the way down from making Light paranoid enough, asking to be locked up for weeks purely on the basis of a 1% suspicion. Light had not been able to keep up with L in real time, and so, for the first few chapters after they meet, L uncovers a lot about who Light Yagami is as a person on a deep level, but the same cannot be said for Light. L is very closed off, and it will take him longer to know L as well as L knows Light. L figures out Light's true personality much quicker than Light figures out L's true personality. At least in person, that's how it seems. With the reveal of the second Kira, Light had been given an opportunity to turn things around. He must find them and meet with them as soon as possible. The Shinigami known as Rem is following by Misa's side, and up until this point, the fact that another person has a death note is nuts. This was a big risk for Oba to take in the story. Introducing another notebook into the world will spread the focus from a light-only story to whoever is in control of the second notebook. This could have ended badly if, let's say, the person is uninteresting or boring. Misa, though, is a very unique person to own a death note. It would be like a Stan getting the same powers as their idol. It's a really interesting position for Light to be in as well, as we will see how he reacts to this type of praise. Misa was given a death note by a weird Shinigami. Not Rem, as she was only the messenger. The story of Misa getting a death note is because a Shinigami named Gellus fell in love with her. That said, Shinigami died protecting her, killing someone else to extend her life, and in turn, dying himself for the sake of a human. Playing on the idea that certain Shinigami can fall in love with humans, it is stated in the rules for Shinigami that any kind of sexual conduct with humans is not allowed, which is super bizarre to think about, and is weird that that even has to be mentioned in the real book. It makes you wonder if Shinigami can fall in love with humans and even consider having sexual relations with them, would that mean their connection to the human world relates back to them once being humans before they became gods of death? Something to think about. When Shinigami are created, they are handed a death note by the Shinigami King. All humans when they die return to nothingness, but it doesn't say anything about a human that dies who is also an owner of a death note. This has never been stated anywhere and is massively speculated on, but the cruelest scenario to imagine is all humans who were in ownership of the death note prior to death become Shinigami in the afterlife. I'll try to speak on this more when it becomes relevant again, but just note that out of all the very specific rules, it is never stated that humans are not allowed to own a death note. Chapter 28 Judgment Misa had sent in another message to Kira to confirm where they would meet. This was actually not bad by Misa. She does this in a way that would distract and make it obvious for the average person, while making it very clear to Kira what she actually means. For someone who is portrayed to not be the smartest character in the series, she outsmarts the entire task force with this message. Of course though, not getting past L, he is the one who decides to have stations set up around each of the locations named, regardless of any probability. 
He is making sure that he catches the second kidder. L had almost completely taken the focus off of Light and is honing in on the second kidder as he believes them to be an inferior version and, therefore, easy to capture. Light volunteers to go to a place called Aoyama as an undercover detective. This was an obvious choice for him and does raise some suspicion from L, however the most he does is ask Matsuda to keep a close eye on him, which probably wasn't the best move for L. Matsuda is constantly played up to be the joke guy of the task force, and is effortlessly swayed and tricked by Light every single time, so much to the point where he develops a completely one-sided relationship with him, where he genuinely thinks that Light is his best friend. Even in his official stats, he has remarkably low intelligence and knowledge for being a detective, coming in at a 4 out of 10. L takes precautions as he intends to capture the second kidder, who can kill without a name, to remove all photographs of everyone from all public spaces, even the records and photographs of L under the name Hideke Ryuga from college have been completely wiped. Light notes this as impressive, as he's slowly starting to know more about how L operates in real time, which he'll have to learn and adapt to if he wants to win. Light's plan to meet with the second Kira poses a couple of problems. First, they have the Shinigami eyes, so they will be able to see the names and times of death of everyone, except Light will be the only one without a lifespan above his head as he is also a Death Note user. So straight away, Misa will be able to spot Light first. Ryuk never tells Light about this and so he never has to plan for it. The second problem, and the only one that he does plan for, is that Ryuk is constantly following him. In case of the other Shinigami, being Rem, telling Misa who Kira is, Light forms a big group of friends around him to guard him from this possible outcome, and at least make it harder for Misa to determine which one is actually Kira. Matsuda is also here under the name Taro, referencing the pilot, and within one sentence, Matsuda's inner monologue is convinced that simply by being present, there is no way Light could be Kira. On the basis of him showing up for duty, he disregards L's warnings and is able to trust Light within seconds. No disrespect to Matsuda though, he is one of the most loyal characters throughout and uh, serves his purpose very well. But this is a big part of the problem L will have. The people that he's working with are just not as smart as he is and do not see things in the same way he does. In a lot of ways, in this specific case, this is L's biggest weakness. Having to convince the task force to adopt his skepticism and overall mentality towards this case. As Light is walking in a big group, Misa is disguised in an outfit that makes her unrecognizable and as soon as she sees Light, she becomes the first person to uncover the identity of Kira. Showing no lifespan means that he is also a Death Note user and must be Kira himself. This was very clever from Misa, of course, Light wasn't accounting for this unknown rule and it took the supernatural power of the Shinigami Eye, but just like that, he was discovered. Chapter 29 Weapon It is the 25th of May 2004. Both Light and L are inside each other's heads, thinking the exact same thing as each other, at the mercy of Misa Amane. A message from the second Kira is sent in informing the task force that they had found the original Kira. Without even knowing who the second Kira is, Light is already annoyed by them. In this chapter specifically, Misa starts becoming a real liability for Light. Sending in an announcement to the police that she had found Kira leads L to believe that she had only located him and not actually made contact. This is a correct assumption. As he states Kira would never let this information be known to the police, this information also makes it very clear to L that because of this message being posted on the 23rd of May, Kira was more than likely located in Aoyama on the 22nd of May which just so happens to be the same time Matsuda and Light were there. Light never shows it, but he had to have been freaking out in these moments. His hands had been metaphorically tied. Not only had it been basically and almost 100% confirmed to L at this point, but the connection had already been made to at least one person that Light Yagami is Kira. 
Even though we'll find that Misa would never want to do anything to hurt Light, by way of circumstance, she had almost lost him this battle by this little stunt alone. So much to the point where Light even has to ask himself internally if this person truly was on the side of Kira. Add this to the fact that in his mind, at any time, he could be killed by the second Kira and cannot do anything about it without L catching on to him. This, more than ever, is where L needed a smarter task force. I could imagine that from this very moment that if he was working with people back from Whammy's house, even some of the kids there would have been better than the task force members, and this case would be over, or at least very close to being solved, as most of them would also suspect Light. But because his dad is the chief, for the task force to ever believe that Light would be Kidder, L would need to have undeniable evidence to literally just spell it out to them. After some research digging through the identity of Light Yagami, Misa becomes very attracted to him in every way. This would be a huge win for Light, as this would make her want to meet with him immediately and make her his girlfriend. Now imagine if Misa did her research and was disgusted by what she saw. As much as she idolizes Kira, if it turned out to be someone like Higuchi or anyone like that, there could be an argument that perhaps she wouldn't comply as effortlessly as Light makes her. So, another win for Light. A broadcast is sent out by the police that aims to make the second Kira reveal the identity of the original before making any contact with them. This is their best bet at capturing Kira as she is the only one in the world who knows his true identity. Light, stuck in his room and metaphorically hands tied, can do nothing but watch. There had been zero cutaways to Light throughout this process other than the back of his head, so his inner monologue was never shown. But this was some of the most stress he had been under since the case started, simply due to the fact that he was powerless and couldn't do anything, and was stuck waiting on the second kiddo who he didn't even recognize as being on his side. Misa sees the broadcast, and instead of complying with the police, she gets a feeling that Kira would be worried, and so she walks right up to Light Yagami's front door and introduces herself to his entire family, minus the chief. Light's mother doesn't acknowledge Misa as Light's girlfriend when asked by Sayu based on how she's dressed. The Yagami household is a very traditional family, so Misa will become a funny addition. However, she is crazy, and everything she had done up until this point is evil, masked under the pretense of innocence. When there is a person who has the Shinigami eyes, they are always going to be insane. Whether they are born with them or do the deal, in a lot of ways it is implied that Shinigami eyes are a sign of derangement. This is not as highly emphasized in Misa as it was beyond birthday, but it is definitely there. One of the biggest strengths in Misa, as stated in the official stat book, which will become useful for all characters very soon, but for Misa, she has three maxed out stats. One being in initiative, as shown by becoming the second Kira and seeking out light, and then a 10 out of 10 in both social skill and charm. This allows her to be seen as a normal innocent girl by most people. The difference between Beyond Birthday and Misa Amane is one was born with the eyes, and one threw away 50% of her remaining life in order to attain them, in just the hope and the chance to help Kira. How she acted before the series is unknown. However, it is noted that her parents were both killed by a murderer one year prior to meeting with Light, and in February 2004, Kira had taken that same murderer's life. So now Misa is obsessed with Kira. Since the day of her parents' death, nothing had been the same for her ever again, and she found comfort in Kira, believing his cause to be true justice based on her own individual experience and reality. Light is able to pick up on these characteristics after their first encounter. Light speaks to Misa as Kira. This is the first time he has spoken as Kira to anyone without the immediate intent to kill. There is a conflict of worlds between these two. Light is always shown serious and has only ever been shown truly laughing when he executes on a plan, while Misa is this 411 girl who is always bubbly and smiling despite being just as deadly as Light. Within these bedroom walls are two of the deadliest people in the human world. Light is still in what is kind of like an L mode. 
Having been dealing with only L directly and getting caught out by him in person multiple times, Light is still on guard while talking to Misa, who by every way imaginable is the complete opposite of L. He is still thinking logically about everything, while Misa just comes out and asks to be his girlfriend. Light comes up with a bunch of logical reasons for why that cannot happen, to which Misa debunks, even offering her own death note to gain his total trust. At first, Light cannot understand why anyone would do this. He is still thinking in regards to logic and in L mode. What Misa is doing goes against all logic that he had been dealing with for the past six months of owning a death note. Misa is a real curveball into Light's life, and you then get the most telling moment that defines how Light sees Misa and will use her from now up until the end. Misa is insane. She was influenced heavily through Kira's initial actions, and her actions take after them but push the boundary even further in publicly killing police officers and innocent people. Something that Light would do, but never publicly. The chapter ends with the coldest panel in Death Note. Light, after being beaten down by L, seeing Misa, his god complex had returned, and now, after truly knowing who Misa is, becomes even more deadly. Chapter 30 Bomb Light does not want to let Misa live. This will later become ironic as Misa's own lifespan is massive, but Light's initial plan is to use her Shinigami eyes to find L's real name, then later kill him along with the entire investigation team, and in the end also kill Misa to have Kiru's identity remain a secret. This is so telling from Light. Misa is someone who had walked to the ends of the earth and died to protect him, and all he can think about is L. More specifically, how to not get caught. At the same time, L had been up for days on end without sleep. It's made clear by his design that he does this regularly, but especially now this man does not sleep in a situation that requires this much thought and planning. L is reviewing all tapes of Aoyama on the 22nd to observe only Light Yagami. He is so convinced of Light being Kira that he ends the investigation of the Kitamura family to the chief's absolute dismay. Unseen footage would lead us to believe that this entire time since the entrance exams, Mogi had been acting as L towards the other family that had been under suspicion. Why wasn't that made into a bonus chapter? That would have been great. Light had sacrificed a lot in order to get close to L. By simply appearing, L had suspected him even more, and the only thing he gains out of doing this is just being on the inside. He still had not made any moves as L is closing in on him quickly. Something has to happen soon with Light. The last time he did anything impressive was winning that game of tennis and acting pure while his house was bugged. At this point, L knows Light far more than Light knows L, and anything that is made up by Light is picked up on by L because he is able to realize how he thinks. After all, they do share similar thoughts. Misa explains to Light about the Shinigami eyes and how they work, and they have this weird moment that's so subtle, but Light actually praises Misa for explaining how her eyes work so well. She blushes and looks up at him, and then Light is drawn with a sweat mark, which he only gets around L these days. Seriously, he contemplates catching feelings towards her, something I never would have even thought would have crossed his mind. This is a man with the most single-minded focus you could possibly ever imagine, and for him to comment on Misa distracting him by developing feelings towards her shows that Light's ability to detach himself from the basic human emotion for the sake of his goal in a lot of ways is actually quite admirable. It doesn't make him a good guy, but when confronted with Misa, he shows no interest in her outside of her ability to further his goal. By the end of the night, Light had threatened to kill her if she didn't comply with exactly what he said, to which Misa actually seems to be fine with. But a certain Shinigami is not, and the unnatural happens right in front of everyone. Rem, the Shinigami, threatens Light back, and if he does anything to kill Misa, they will retaliate and in turn, kill him. Yet another Shinigami willing to throw their own life away to protect Misa. I'm not sure what the deal is with certain Shinigami and Misa, 
This is now the second one to claim to be in love with her and willing to die. This isn't a small plot point either. This is huge and will go on to have an effect later and it's not great. Gone are the days of Ryuk who just chilled out and watched. Now there's this external factor in Rem who is a god of death all of a sudden becomes infatuated with Misa. The story of Death Note in the beginning for the first 22 chapters had been about strategy and 4D chess, the cat and mouse game between Light and L, with Ryuk only being there to spectate. The introduction of multiple death gods was always going to happen, however Shinigami are at their best when they act indifferent, which is why Ryuk remains the GOAT. This is going to be a new problem for Light. Similar to L, he now has to concern himself with a being of godlike power and is taken by complete surprise. You have to remember, Light is familiar with Ryuk and how he as a Shinigami went about things and operated. He wasn't accounting for a suicidal, loved up death god to come along with a second kid or a second notebook and just be crazy. Again, why Misa is able to make certain Shinigami fall for her is up to interpretation. In Volume 13's How to Read, it does say that she has a 10 out of 10 charm statistic, which you could argue puts her influence on a divine level. It's kind of weird to think about, but Misa has as much charm as Light or L do intelligence, at least narratively. The whole scene, and really all of Death Note is put into perspective when they're having this really intense moment, and then Light's mother knocks on the door, straight away going from a conversation between gods, planning the creation of the new world, to what is it mom reminding you that these are childish ideals that light holds and the way he goes about getting caught is definitely not childlike but his purpose to further his god complex as far as he possibly can and not admit that he is wrong to only then see his mother walk in the room and watch his entire demeanor just change is a subtle reminder of that Misa is kind of like a fan self-inserted themselves into the story. At one point in the chapter she says, Oh wow, Light and Kira are friends, that's so exciting. The outside world had been fed the news of L had been getting nowhere in the Kira case and is a useless detective. It would be in character for L to keep all the information on the down low, but the obvious truth is we are getting very close to something big happening. All of the pressure L had been putting on Light combined with Misa and now Rem 